the power of being thankful. Agreeing with God. Take a step of faith and no matter how fail, agree with God that He loves you. You are wonderfully made and have many talents and strength. You are valuable and as a believer in Jesus, you are the righteousness of God in His God in Him. You have rightness before God instead of wrongness. Be thankful that for that amazing God. Begin to speak out against feelings of insecurity and say, I belong to God and He loves me. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 10. We believe more of what we hear ourselves and see that what others see. So start saying something good and drown out the other voices that condemn you. Fight for yourself, fight for the God, fight of faith and refuse to live, to live below the level at which Jesus wants to live. His kingdom is righteousness, peace and joy. Romans 14 verse 17 Don't sit on for anything less. Prayer of thanks. I thank you, Father, that I can boldly declare in faith who I am in Christ. Thank you that you created me as one of a kind and you love me there. Today, I choose to believe that I am. Works motion. One Timothy, chapter six, verse one to twenty. Did as many as as are servants under the yoke count their own masters worthy of all honor, that the name of God and the doctrine be not blessed. And the, that have believing masters, let them, let them not disgrace them, because they are very very ten, but let them serve their they rather because they have by partake of the benefits of believing and beloved. The things teach and exhort. If any man teacheth the different doctrine and consent consented not to solve words, having the words of the Lord Jesus Christ and to the doctrine which is according to godliness. He is far up, knowing nothing but the dot dotting about questioning and disputes of words whereof come envy, strife, reeling, evil, surmising, wrongless man, corrupt in mind, and verb, very on the truth, supposing that godliness is only of God. But godliness with contentment is great gain. For we brought nothing into the world, for neither can we carry anything out. But having food and covering, we shall be there, there with content. But they that are minded to be rich fall into a temptation and the snare of any foolish and hurtful laws, such as drown men in destruction and foundation. For the love of money is a rock of all kinds of evil, which some riches, after have been led astray from the faith, and have purchased themselves through with many sorrows. But though, O man of God, Place things and follow after righteousness, goodness, faith, love, patience, meekness. Fight the good fight and the faith. Lay hold on the life eternal, whereunto thou was called, and thus confess the good confession in the sight of many witnesses. I charge thee in the sight of God, who gave it life. To all things, and the Christ Jesus, before Pontius Pilate witnessed the good confession, that thou kept the commandments without spot, without reproach, until the appearing of our God, of our Lord Jesus Christ, 
which in its own time shall show who is the blessed and only potent, the King of kings and Lord of lords, who only had immortality dwelling in light, an approachable home no man had set nor can see, to whom be honor and power eternal. Amen. Charge them that are rich in the present world, that they be not high-minded, nor have their hope set on the uncertainty of riches, but in God, who giveth us richly all the times in joy. And they do good, that they be rich in good works, that they be ready to distribute, willing to commun communicate, lay laying up in the store for themselves a good foundation against the time to come, that they may lay hold on the life which is life and death. O Timothy, guard that which is committed unto thee, turning away from the profane, babbling, and opposition of the knowledge which is falsely so called.